The only level you need to reach is loving yourself. Looks don't matter. Bro, I have came to a point now, you could be the most beautiful motherfucking female in the world. You come around me with some shitty energy, shitty attitude, your head ain't on your shoulders. Get the fuck out my house. Learn to be yourself. Love yourself. A lot of y'all be sitting around procrastinating. You got so much stuff you want to do in this fucking matrix in this world. You've been sitting on some ideas, all type of stuff. But you scared to be yourself. You don't want to do it because you 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 nervous what people going to say about you. You you nervous that people going to judge you. You feel like somebody going to do something to you. Bro, be your fucking self. You only can be yourself. There is, bro, listen, if you following somebody on these apps, this is why I take, take breaks from social media. Because the more you follow these quote unquote surgery model, perfect type looking girls, the more and more and more you're going to feel like you don't look good enough. The more and more and more you're going to feel left out. You only want to follow people that inspire you. Don't follow people you look that, that you want to look like, bro. And like I said, I told y'all, they want you to look. Bro, listen, they want you to be so far. They want you to hate yourself. They want this is how it's set up. They want all y'all women to be further and further and further away from how beautiful and who you truly are. That's why they push this makeup agenda on y'all so heavy. They want the whole world to wear or every girl on the earth to wear makeup. I told y'all when these little girls see y'all, bro, these little girls is two, three years old. They see y'all twerking. They see y'all wearing all this makeup. They feel like they are ugly. They ain't even got into elementary school yet. Everything is made to destroy y'all women. Everything is made to destroy us men. That's why I told you, you have to learn how to love yourself. And that's why I was talking about No Nut November. You don't love yourselves enough to the point you can hold on to your own energy, nigga. What type of nigga is you? You got to go keep going out here fucking these same thotties. That's fucking everybody. You just giving your energy away. You don't love yourself, nigga. Y'all niggas can't put a pause on the pussy. Y'all can't put a pause on social media for yourself. You can't take care of yourself and raise your vibration and just focus on you. Why is that so hard? Because you program not to focus on you. You program to watch TV, mind control. You on your phone 24-7. Listen, if you be on your phone for 10 minutes, if you just scroll on your phone on Instagram for 10 minutes, you're going to see something that's going to make you either feel bad about yourself or make you feel left out in some way. Am I right or wrong? If you go on Twitter right now, you going to see something, some deaths, some bullshit trending. It's going to make you feel bad about yourself. It's going to make you feel bad about this world, all this fake news. All this stuff is made to frustrate you and make you hate yourself. That's why I say it. Don't focus on all this new gear coming out, all this bullshit, bro. Don't focus on none of this. None of that shit matters. None of this material shit matters. The only thing that matter is loving who you truly are. When you start loving yourself, you start losing this stress, this anxiety. Then you actually start doing all these ideas and the shit that you've been procrastinating about. Start looking at yourself in the mirror on some random shit and just say, man, I love you. I've been through a lot. I know I have been treating myself wrong. Accept what you have done to yourself and let yourself know that you love yourself. You can glorify all these fucking thotties and you can glorify all these celebrities, but you would never glorify yourself. You would like a celebrity. You would buy her all her shit. You would do all this, buy his shit, buy his music, do all this for them. But you would never, ever love yourself. The more and more you glorify famous and all these quote unquote other people, the more stressed you going to be. Trust me, the more and more you addicted to social media and shit, I don't care how pretty or how rich you are, the more stressed you going to be. Because there's always going to be something there that's making you do something that you really don't want to do. That's making you feel some way that you don't want to feel. Who the fuck want to feel left out 24-7? Think about that. So if you're not on your shit. If you if you're not on your shit and you got to get on your shit, you have so much you have to do. Get off your fucking phone and start taking care of yourself. Start making changes for your body. Like when the last time ask yourself this question, when is the last time you did something for yourself? And I ain't talking about buying some material things. What has changed in your life these past couple months? What has changed? Have you become a ha have you become a happier person? 
Have you started manifesting any new money? Have you started on something, new business ideas, new careers? What have you done for yourself, for your mental health? What have you done for your mental health in the past three months? Have you even tried to meditate? These past three months, all you have done was focus on other people's life. That's, all, that's where all your energy went. All your energy went on, uh, into somebody else's life. They still in all your energy. Welcome to Spotlight Sessions where we shine What's a light your story? You ain't nowhere where you want to be at in life But you have all the time in the world to focus on somebody else's life And somebody else's purpose Be yourself, love yourself Never let nobody in this fucking matrix tell you you can't do something Cause you, when people sit up here and tell you You can't be, you can't be what you want to be You can be anything you want to be This and that, that and this, that and this Bro, listen, in this matrix, uh, damn near everything gets controlled. But one thing you really, really can be, and I and I look you dead in your eyes and say this. One thing that you can 100% be is 100% unconditionally happy and loving yourself. You have full control over how you feel. So as long as you love yourself, the money going to come to you. You deserve it. You love yourself. Money going to start manifesting. You're going to start receiving all type of blessings. When you start loving yourself, meditation becomes way easier. You start being happier, more on a regular. Now you able to receive these blessings. But if you're somebody that hates yourself and you don't even pay attention to how you feel, you got a very low vibration. You ain't trying to meditate. You ain't trying to do nothing. You just on your phone, letting all your stress and depression out on your phone, watching bullshit programming your mind. You just hurting yourself. You destroying yourself. Mind control. You are destroying yourself. And then you want to follow these certain people that you think is making you feel better. Them are the ones that is making you further and further away from yourself. Because you're looking for them to pick you up when you can pick your own self up. That's why I take breaks from social media. Social media can't cure this. Social media cannot cure what I be feeling within me. I can't watch something 